Uh, originally, this uh, was a project for us to help build teamwork and collaboration in the classroom. Uh, we, I taught the kids with one session on how to fold the cranes, uh, and they were able to build these uh, cranes independently. Traditionally, a crane represents um, good health, prosperity, uh, and good luck, and is uh, often given to uh, those that are um, ill or with disease uh, in hopes that they, they get well soon. When they found out about the story that was in the Vancouver Sun, I guess, um, they all decided that they wanted to donate all the paper cranes, and at that time it was 600 paper cranes that they'd already folded to Amy so that she could have a little bit of hope and peace and love and, you know, health, you know, with these cranes. And that's why I'm here, is, is to pick up these cranes for my daughter. And it's just the most amazing gift that I think I've ever been given, um, especially for my daughter. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. I'm just so happy. Uh, we started uh, making it because uh, when uh, Mr. Chu te uh, like teached us the first time, we were all like, oh, that's uh, quite uh, complicated, but we still kept on going. And then when we heard about this uh, locker needing the paper cranes, we were all like, we were all like, oh my god, this is amazing. We just need to step up our game to like give help her or give her opportunity to her. I think the kids learned a, a great deal because it's one of those things where they can learn that there's stuff going on outside of their small little world and, and they're actually helping the kids and people in the community. And I think it's important that they're able to, uh, we built this whole unit on empathy and they were able to show that and had an opportunity to do that with these cranes. This is hope. This, this is bringing me hope. Um, this is bringing Amy hope. All these amazing well wishes from these, these fabulous children. When it's darkest, sometimes light shines through. And this is light. This is light in the dark times.